This video recently went viral. It had several million views and over 200,000 likes of this couple showing off their Bernie's mountain dogs and all the junk they have in their trunk. However, there were a lot of negative and even concerned comments about the health of the dog's hips in this video. So are these users right? While a hip sway doesn't necessarily indicate severe hip dysplasia, it does usually indicate that there is some level of excess hip laxity. And while it is unfortunately common, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is normal. For reference, here is a clip of my German Shepherd Hugo walking. You can see that there's very little side to side movement in his hips. This dog had perfect hips up until the day he died at 13 years old, radiographically confirmed. And here's my rescue puppy, Frank. You can see that little wiggle in his booty side to side. He probably does have some level of hip laxity. But the real question is, is this a problem and are these dogs necessarily in pain? The only way to know for sure is with x-rays, preferably while the patient is sedated. Here is a healthy hip and here is a dog with hip dysplasia. So if your dog walks with a hip sway, should you be concerned? Not necessarily. This is me and Frank. I'm testing his hip extension here. He has a nice full hip extension on both sides, so unlikely that he is clinically affected by any hip laxity that he has. So what I'm doing for Frank is I'm starting him on some joint supplements early so I can be proactive. And I'm going to make sure I keep him at a lean and healthy body weight. Lastly, I would not breed any dog with a hip sway without first having their hips OFA tested and evaluated. If I were shopping for a dog, I would definitely not purchase a dog from a breeder whose dogs show evidence of hip sway unless those dogs have been OFA hip tested and evaluated.